Boner City, Ben Davis. There it is. Nong Rose about to walk it out. Nong Rose! You know what that means. It means a lot of violence. It means uh. a lot of, uh, Luke, we know this word well, domination. <laughs> yes. I do, uh, I do enjoy getting dominated from time to time. But inner, inner appearance is here. Nong Rose has been the one who's gotten what? dominated what? twice. What? She's yet to secure a win what? What? in the dojo. But she's still confident. That is what's different about Nong Rose, is despite the setbacks, she is still here putting on her absolute best. And what a show does this lady put yes. on. Go yell, bitch. Boom to suck. Facing Nong Rose. Here's our Oppenheimer, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Obviously, Nong Rose is Barbie. She's a spitting image of Barbie. This guy's not so Killian Murphy as Nong Rose is Margot Robbie, but he's doing his, doing his, he's playing the part. Doing his best. He looks like Clark Kent. We'll see if he can punch like Superman, Luke. Do you think this man has ever worn a tie before, or a suit, or a jacket? No, <laughs> never. First, fighting out of the blue corner. This man hails from Koh Yao Yai, Thailand, and is representing Bunda Sak Jim. Give it up for the Koh Yao Pech Bunda Sak. And his opponent, the queen of the fight circus ring needs no introduction. Hailing from Isan, she is the orchid of. Give it up for the one, the only, Nong Mother Loving Rose. Three three minute rounds, and when it gets underway, the man that loves to get fisted, Mr. Frederick Dalbeck. Margot Robbie in the red. <laughs> Killian Murphy in the blue. A true collision of titans, Luke Welling. <laughs> sure, I, your definition of titan is clearly very loose. But yes, I know you think you're seeing Margot Robbie versus Killian Murphy in there, but we've got Nong Rose in the red, and we've got Ko Yao Peck, Bundesak. I think I got that right. Red, in the blue. Red corner, she, her. Blue corner, he, him. <laughs> tie versus tie. Here we go. Four balls. Two tits. Let's go. <laughs> Big connection from Nong Rose. I love the composure. Again, Ted, she is down two in the fight circus arena. She needs this W badly. Very she really good. does. She really wants it. And let's see if she goes after it or if she tactically gets it or if she bulldozes him to get it. Let's see what she... Oh. And that's what I like. Up top. Oh. Oh, now she's in the corner, not somewhere she wants to be. Big shots from Boone to say, you could tell his game plan early is swarm and overwhelm Luke Welling. Yeah, and he's a formidable physique there. This is an intimidating opponent for her. I, this is a great matchup. Yeah, I think we're a real barn burner here. Americans who voted for Biden are furious at this match right now. Guys who voted for Trump, extremely happy <laughs> to the action. <laughs> oh, Outside good connection election. right there from Boone to say. And for those who don't know, that, that step back that Nong Rose did, that scores high in the eyes of the judges, even though it was just a calf kick, the fact that she moved her body out. You know, great. Oh, big connection there. Nong Rose, excellent wisdom to clinch up. But Ted, you're making some very good points. I think that the traditional scoring that most would, would assume isn't really applicable. Educate us real quick on what gets what done. To tell you the truth, I have no idea. Did you but know what I'm those? saying is, is when you connect and move your opponent, that is something that will definitely get the judges to raise their eyebrows, that will definitely put you in the scorer's table uh, and, and in your favor. Okay, well, we've got a little bit of a lull in the action. If we really are going to educate the audience on the rules, it, you can kick straight to the groin in Muay Thai. You cannot knee to the groin in the clinch, but, but they, yeah, they believe that it's defensible. The reason you're allowed to kick straight in the whatever they've got between their legs is because they believe it's defensible. Once you get into the clinch, it's no longer allowed to go after them. Luke, can I ask you, what do you think is in between Nong Rose's <laughs> legs? I purposely avoided that, Teddy. I okay. really don't want to go down just, that road right now. We okay. won't define it. We'll talk about Ooh, it. Oh, great defense there. Great dexterity. Beautiful dexterity. Look at the physique of Bundesek. I mean, right. he clearly is ready for war. Yes. Nong Rose, though, answering the call in every sequence, Ted. Also, I like her physique as well. Oh, beautiful from Nong Rose. Love that jab as she stepped back just to kind of 
get him to reset his offense where you knew his right hand was coming. She threw that left jab. He kind of had to think about it. Nice fake, and then there's that left knee. Oh, and a hard left kick. In combat sports, it's all about getting your opponent to think something and then doing something different. Luke Welling, Nong Rose is setting some traps here. Yeah, I mean, I... At the end of the day, this is a very traditional Muay Thai fight. There's not much outside the box. This is kind of just like staring each other in the eyes and going out with like traditional moves. Yeah, like they are, they're getting at it. Nong Rose might benefit from seeking out a camp that's not Thai. Learning a couple of different techniques. She's got, uh, it's a tough uphill climb for a woman in this sport but to fight both, men. But look, when both are dancing or playing that game it is beautiful to watch oh i absolutely I do, love I do it. like it and i do like what's happening here that we've talked about chess matches and i i feel as though we're seeing one now but i would like nong rose to maybe bring her queen out a little bit early and really put some pressure on her. i really do think nong would benefit from some non-traditional yeah. techniques because she's always fighting men you know and that, that is a badass lady in that corner but this is a tough tough challenge yet again here in Fight Circus for Don Rose. And as someone who tangles with men, I know how hard it can be, especially when they get in ya, you know what I mean? And really make it dirty. But Nong Rose's left kick up high has been looking really nice, and now Beautiful. she goes with the right, gorgeous. Bundesek is a little over overwhelmed here early in round two. He's trying too much, Ted. We may underestimate her. That might oh! be and in true Fight Circus fashion, we've had some people go through the ropes. But that's great for Nong Rose, right? That's Bundesek getting overwhelmed, getting overcalculated, Luke Welling. The, the tenor of this round is different. She looks like she's figured out a few things from the first round and has found her ways in. She's very calculated. And as you can see, she's picking her spots right now. And as we said before in the previous fight, maybe, maybe he needs to make it a bit dirty. Maybe he's not, it's not his best interest to have this be a tit for tat fight right now. He might have to get a little grimy because she's looking really good with this traditional Muay Thai stances that they're doing. Yeah, yeah she, she, made the, she made the reads. She needs to get nasty yeah. again to kind of mix it up. I completely agree with and that. And I don't Gentlemen. know why he's not doing it. I'd love to get nasty with Nong Rose. Ben? Beautiful step in knee right there from Nong Rose. The patience and the composure, Luke Welling, is what's telling me that she is a very high educated fighter here. She found a space for a nice inside elbow right through the middle of his face there too. That was great. She's really made some great reads oh, going into this round. No. The oh. fights that we saw her lose were when people took it to her. Were when people, like you said, were unconventional. Here, we're just having a nice, classic Muay Thai fight. This is exactly where she wants to be. You can see how composed she is. and You can see a lot of the weapons right now that she's using, and they're really connecting. The wheelhouse of Nong Rose is hard to beat her at, Luke. Bundesak, again, he might have those pretty muscles because he seems to be gassing pretty quick here. He even looks like, yeah, maybe those like rock surgeries where he like removed a little bit of fat in the chest and stuff. Like, it's just an odd build. This man is shredded, but he has run out of gas already after four and a half minutes or so, it looks like. And Ted, he doesn't take damage very well. I don't like his response to shots. And you would think that he would, like Luke said, with his body, but Nong Rose is taking a lot of damage and taking it like an absolute champion and getting aggressive up top right there against the ropes. Way to control the distance, Nong Rose. Let's see what she does here. Is she gonna attack first or is he? I feel like she will right now. I agree. Pause at him real quick. Where's that right leg, Nong Rose? Show me that right. Oh Beautiful. my God! Think about the pendulum. Oh. And she brings him down, Ted. Great step in, right hand heater from Nong Rose. Didn't quite find its place, but then the trip takedown, which is entirely legal here in Muay Thai, was amazing. Oh. Oh, wow. Now that right hand is firing for Nong Rose. He takes him down again. Using his, using his weight and momentum against himself. Very intelligent. This is the game Nong Rose wants to play. This is the game that the other fighters can allow her to play. And you know what? Right now, in my position where I'm sitting, I like seeing what she's doing. And Bondesek is not answering. He's not finding counters. He's not finding his own offense. It seems like he started maybe strong, but he has certainly leveled off Luke Welling. Yep, he was almost dominant in the first round, and I think we probably all give that second round overwhelmingly to Nong Rose. In Muay Thai, it does score more as you move along, the, as the rounds go, but all of our judges, I do believe, are white 
so it might be irrelevant. But essentially, I think we've got an even battle. I think we've got one to one here with the momentum shifting to Nong Rose. Second moving out. into the third, we might be Second witnessing our first please. W for the ladies. So. Second There's a reason the why I call round three in Muay Thai the money rounds. And I really do think, like, like Luke said, that it will count highly in the eyes of the judges here. So this one right here, not to make a joke like I said before, where it's, it's a million Lord points now, but, but it it is. Is. a little right. bit. It's 1-1 one, one going into the third. Who wants it more? Yep. And everyone around the ring, stay on your toes. They've gone through the ring, through the ropes, Many once or twice now. If, if, if Nong Rose plays this game, she gets her fight circus win. Bundesek just doesn't seem comfy. He doesn't at all. Nong Rose going to work at any range. Bundesek not finding his own shots, Luke. Because it's her game. This is what she wants. You ha ah, there's that left. You gotta give it up for the matchmakers here. This is a this is a good one. This is a really competitive. She fought Capero in the past, and that was competitive too. But he did ultimately take her down. This is this is great. This is good to see for the development and see where this lady can go. What we need is Bundesak to just go right after it. Kind of like Saw in the last fight. Yes. Just go. High risk, high reward. Put it all out there. Show us what you got. Power, pressure. That's what I'd like to see right now at the end of this round. Honestly, it's time for both fighters to uncork. You know, they've got a lot left in the tank. This is the last round. Let's make some statements. Let's leave some something for the people to remember them by. If we had a clock, I'd know a lot more about where we are right ah, now. So. She snuck that right under yeah, the he left didn't like arm. That. He didn't like that. Oh, as you said before, Ben, he really doesn't like taking damage like that. But I have to say, Nong Rose is a lot more thunderous with her hits than she has been in previous. Great job, guys. What a, yeah, what even a that fight. knee on the inside. What a fight. She's not only precise, she's more powerful than I've seen her in her past two fights. And credit, Absolutely. Credit to Bundesek for staying in here and wearing this damage, but the optics are just not looking good, Luke. Yeah, yeah. What's Ooh. Ooh, right to the bread basket. Wow. Into the clinch. She sees it. She sees it in real time. She knee sees the ribs. it. I think that knee to the ribs took him down. He, he pretended it was the weight, but she, now I think that blow affected him. It seems like Nong Rose is only hesitating for the fact that she has too many options. Like she sees a lot opening right now. And she's landing a lot. Bundesek is tired. Oh, oh, He's oh, motioning. Oh, oh. He's not yeah. with her right now. I call this a bend of the knee. Yeah. In a traditional Muay Thai, yep. he is Jon Snow right now. He is bending the knee, and there we go. He's conceded. Yeah. Essentially, He's conceded. you will yeah. see this in Muay Thai. Like, and essentially conceding to your opponent that they have dominated. Frederick should put a stop oh. to this. He really should. Nong Rose with the beautiful knee oh, into lovely, the red basket. Yeah. Now a kick. Bundesek. Not with it, Luke. No, and I think that you can hear the yeah, kicks. Yeah, yeah, that's it. At this call point. It, call Ten it. seconds. He's giving him an eight. Yeah, giving yeah, him a standing yeah, yeah, eight yeah. count. Give him one lap. But we're in the last 10 seconds uh, of this round. We're going to end. We're going to end here. And I think, I think, I don't want to speak for the judges. But I think we may have seen Nong Rose's first W in the circuit. Yeah. Which was a dominant one yeah. in that case. And a lovely one. Like, it was beautiful to watch as well. She picked her shot, she knew her game, exactly. and exactly. she took the W. Before it started to yeah. seem weird. I was calling it. Good job, Frederick. Good job. I didn't know that was going to happen. And it has been called. Wow. Again, ladies and gentlemen, the Junkyard Theater, please make some noise. Bundesak was stunned after it. All good. Grab their hands. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner after two rounds of Muay Thai action, the queen of, yeah? Doesn't matter, Nong Rose. Nong Rose winning it.